Good morning, gorgeous ones. How are we? Look where I am today. I'm outside. Uh, today, I'm just having a little chat with you about habit stacking and I guess an explanation as to why I'm outside. Um, so I'll just wait for a few of you to come on. It's about 8 or something, 5 maybe. Um, and I'm sitting here with my beautiful warm cup of coffee. So part of the reason, so, oh, good morning, Sue. One of the things that I am wanting to do is actually increase a little more of my morning sunshine, my morning daylight. So there's lots of good reasons for that. If you have early morning sunlight exposure, then that helps with your melatonin and cortisol. So melatonin is, a, is your going to sleep hormone. And as you know, as night owls, our going to sleep hormone sometimes means that we don't start feeling sleepy till you know 11 or 12. So you can improve that by getting morning sunlight. And I am not very good at that. I am a person that sort of just stays in my little cave. So today I've decided that one of the things I can do to help myself and to help reset my nighttime clock is to make sure I get early morning sunshine. So I ate some light, okay, so I'm outside here. And I thought, right, I could combine that with a morning meditation, having my coffee, and the live, the Facebook live. So habit stacking, therefore, getting lots of things done with one action. You know, we talk about that pleiotrophic effect. So with my one action of spending 10 minutes outside in the morning, I get my sunlight, I'll do a bit of meditating, so that's helpful, and I combine it with doing the Facebook Live, so that's a trigger for me to do it. Because sometimes, what you know, the thing that can sometimes happen is you go, yeah, 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 I'll do that, and you just don't do it, because time gets away, and suddenly it's three o'clock in the afternoon, and you think, oh, I didn't do my morning meditation. So if you can combine it with something, like a morning coffee, or a Facebook Live, then you are more likely to continue doing it. So. Clearly for the next little bit, you're going to be seeing me doing my Facebook Lives in my Udi with my coffee and, you know, perhaps talking a bit about meditation. Part of the reason, medit so meditation, you know, it, it is hard. Like I'd love to say to you, yeah, you just meditate and it's all easy. It's not, it's actually really hard because our brains want to run off and think about all the things. And so the act of meditating is not to have completely empty mind and just be you know, oming your life away, it is the idea that you just keep bringing your thoughts back. And the more you do that, then you spend time with just focus. Like it's sort of, it's, it's a bit like a brain training exercise in many ways. You, it, you know, and you, you've probably heard us talking about the idea of walking a dog. It's, it's very much like that. It's like, you've got a new puppy. It's very excited, likes to sniff all the things i.e. your brain wants to run off and think about everything but just like a dog you just keep bringing it back bringing it back bringing it back and over time you'll just find that your mind comes back easily it comes it, it may not wander quite so much some days are easier than others and it's all wonderful as i'm sitting out here you can do mindfulness like a mindfulness exercise without necessarily meditating mindfulness is really just the act of being in the moment. So as I look around here, now clearly I'm mindful because I'm on camera and talking to you, but I do, you know, I, I can look around, I can see that there are birds in my trees. I notice that, you know, in Melbourne it's autumn, so I've got lots of trees out here and they're changing color. You know, so many times we just go through life and we don't notice anything. We're just sort of in our head, thinking about the next thing, thinking about the thing off the list, thinking about the thing that we thought about yesterday. We spend all our time either you know, thinking about the future or ruminating on the past and not that much time, just being present. Being present is a wonderful thing to ah, just lower your cortisol. And as we all know, for weight management, lowering cortisol is very helpful. So that's it. So I, when I get off this live in a few minutes, I'm gonna spend my next, I'll set a timer. Only because, and the reason I set the timer is not because I have to have a certain time, Oh, wonderful, Karen, your internet's been playing up. That's no good. Glad to have it, see that it's going all right. But the reason I set a timer is because then my brain, because sometimes my brain will go, oh, I wonder how long I've been doing it. And 
pleasure of doing it five minutes oh it could be six could be seven and that becomes like a little thread whereas if there's a timer I can go to brain you know what you don't have to worry about the time I know you're just looking after me but it's all right I got this it's okay you just have a little chat like that all right lovelies have a wonderful day I hope wherever you are the day is kind and you are kind and you have a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow morning bye darlings <laughs>